Ade TV KPM K okay. Turbo go faster faster Yes Hi Chris yeah. Hi teacher What are you doing? I'm playing this car racing game it's so fun Wow that looks interesting Anyway Chris yeah. Happy birthday to you Birthday? Yeah <gasps> I have a present for you Teacher, is this for me? Yeah. Wow, I always wanted a bicycle. Can I try? Yes, yes, give it a try. Wow. This is so fun. Okay. Be careful, Chris. Okay. Oh, what, what, what's happening? Oh my. Where is Chris? He's gone. Well, I can play the game now. Why is it slowing down? God. Chris, yeah. where have you been? I'm about to start our lesson. Teacher, you won't believe me, but I was I went to the future. You went to the future? Yes, I did. What did you see? Oh, there were flying cars and there were many high buildings. It was amazing. Would you want to go? Yeah. What about you? Do you want to go to the future too? Wow, okay, if you're ready. Teacher, before we begin today's lesson, I also want to welcome Teacher Shamila as our sign language interpreter for today. Hi, teacher. And not to forget, we also have four pupils on Google Meets joining us on today's advan adventure. Can you please introduce them, teacher? Okay, thank you, Chris. Hi. Okay, let's welcome our four amazing pupils. Our okay. first pupil is Amir Hamza from SK Kampung Tun Razak, Melaka. Hi, Amir. Hi. Hi. Okay, let's me uh, let's introduce our second pupil, Putri Kalisha Umaira. She studies at SK Tempurong Kuala Penyu Sabah. Hi, Hi Putri. Hi Putri. Hi. Now let's welcome our third pupil, Muhammad Akif Azim from SK Felda Kahang Barat Kluang Johor. Hi Akif. Hi Akif. Hi. Last but not least, let's say hi to Iris Darwisha from SK Undang Jelebu Negeri Sembilan. Hi Iris. Hi Iris. Hi. Okay, so teacher for today's uh, tahap dua slot, what are we going to learn teacher? Ah, okay. Today our topic is how do we get there? Ah. Ah, how do we get there? How do but we get there? Okay. Before we begin, let me explain to you about the objectives of our lesson. Okay, teacher. Okay, by the end of the lesson, you should be able to do three things. The first one is Listen to a story and rearrange the pictures in the correct order. Okay. Uh, second, write at least three correct sentences using coordinating conjunctions by matching the phrases or sentences. All right. And the last one is listen to a conversation and complete the information correctly. Okay. Is everybody ready? If you're ready, give me a thumbs up. A double thumbs up. Okay, okay, that's the way. Okay. So now let's start our lesson into the future. Into for the our future. first segment okay. is into the future. Now for this activity, I have provided four uh, eight empty spaces okay. where you have to rearrange the pictures. Ah, mm. all right. So for this activity, I will need to ask our pupils to take out the first worksheet that I have given to them earlier. Okay, everybody got your worksheets. All right. Okay, so. I have eight different pictures here. Picture A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. Ah. If, you can, if, you, if you look at the picture, each picture, they are all different. Yeah. Ah, picture A, the boy is like falling. Picture B is like an envelope. Picture C, the boy is riding a bike. Picture D, the boy is waking up. And picture E, the boy is looking at the bike. Mm -hmm. And then picture F, we have the grandfather is giving a card, the envelope to the boy. And the picture G, the boy is hugging the grandfather. And picture H, ah, 
the bike is flying. Ooh. Ah. Okay. All right. So for this activity, I will need I will need to ask Chris help. Okay. To read the story, and the pupils we need to listen to the story and rearrange the pictures accordingly. Okay. Everyone ready? Listen closely. Okay. It was Saturday morning. Mark woke up feeling excited because it was his birthday. He ran downstairs and saw his parents and grandpa. His grandpa gave him a card and he opened it. It told him that his present was in the garden. So he ran to the garden. In the garden, Mark saw a new bike that was tied with two balloons. He rode it happily. Suddenly, it went dark. The bike was flying really fast. Whoosh! Clunk! Mark opened his eyes and he was in the town center, but everything looked different. All around him were tall glass skyscrapers with flying cars whizzing past. There were no trees and green grass. The sky was grey and the air was polluted. Mark couldn't breathe properly. So he quickly jumped onto his bike. Whoosh! Clunk! Mark opened his eyes and saw his grandpa smiling. Mark quickly hugged his grandpa because he was relieved to be back home. Good job, Chris. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Okay, so I hope our pupils managed to rearrange the pictures mm. according to the story that Chris had uh, read just now. Okay. okay. It is time for us to check the answer. All right. All right. So I will need. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, we have eight pictures, right? Yeah. So who would like to help ah. teacher with the first two? Ah, okay. I will need our first people to give the first two pictures. Ah, ah. okay. Who okay, would like to answer? Which picture is it? Okay, let's go with Amir. Okay, Amir. Um, picture one is D. Picture mm -hmm. one is D. Okay. How about picture C? A uh, picture, uh, picture two. Picture two is F. F. Okay. All right. right. Thank you, Amir. Uh, who would like to give it a try for picture number three and four? Putri. Okay. Over to you. Picture B is number three. Okay. Picture four is. Picture E is number four. Picture E. Okay, thank you, Putri. Now, who would like to give a try for pictures five and six? Okay, Akif. Akif. Uh, number five. Which picture is it? Picture C. Picture C. Is number five. Okay, okay. picture for number six. Uh, picture H. Picture is for numbers six. six. All right, thank you, Akif. And the last one we have Iris. Okay, Iris, can you give me uh, which picture is for number seven? Picture seven is A. A. And how about picture eight? Picture eight is G. G. Okay. okay. Now it is time for us to check the answers. All right. Whether our pupils have got the correct answers or not. Okay. Let's check the answers. Picture one is D, correct? Correct, teacher. Very good. Picture two is F. Correct. Correct. Picture three? Picture three is B, correct. Correct. Picture four? Picture four is E, teacher. Good job. Picture five? Picture five is C. C. Good job. Picture six? Is H. Okay. Picture seven? A. All right. And the last one is? G. Good job, everybody. So for your amazing job, let's reward them with a star each. Okay, everybody gets a star. Okay, one, two, three, and four stars for yeah, everybody. All right, good job, everybody. Well, teacher, is it okay if we take a short break before we proceed? Yes. Okay, for our friends watching at home, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back here at Tahap Dua with Teacher Zakia for Bahasa Inggris.
Didik TV KPM Hi everyone, welcome to Slot Tahap 2 with me Chris MJ as well as teacher Zakia for Bahasa Inggris and today's topic is how do we get there? And in this segment, we are going to be learning and focusing on reason, result, contrast, okay? So are you ready? Okay, looks like everyone is ready. Teacher Zakia, how about we proceed with today's lesson? Okay, for our next uh, topic is reason, result and contrast. Okay. Now, for this topic, I'm going to introduce to you three coordinating conjunctions. Three coordinating conjunctions. Okay. The first one is because. Because is used to give a reason. To give a reason. Mm. An example sentence given, I went to work by bus because my car broke down. My car broke down is the reason for me going to, the, uh, going to work by bus. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. The next one is so. So is used to give a result of something. Okay. An example sentence given, My car broke down, so I took a bus to work. I took a bus to work is the result of my car breaking down. I see. Mm. Okay, I understand, I understand. Okay, and the last one is but. but. But is used to suggest a contrast. An example sentence given, I was unwell yesterday, but I went to work. Usually, when you are unwell, you're mm. supposed to stay at home. Correct. Have a rest. Yeah. But, I went to work. Ah, mm. okay. So that is a contrast of a situation. Okay, so there are three coordinating conjunctions, is that correct? Yes, so because... Because, so, and but. Yes. Okay. Alright, now, let's do our first activity. Ooh. We are going to play a game, <gasps> tic-tac-toe. Okay, ah. okay. Okay, for this game, we are going to divide our people into two teams. Alright. The boys team, and the girls team. All right. And you are going to uh, represent the boys team. Of course. And I'm going to represent the girls team. Okay, come on, uh, guys. Give now, me a who's, high five. who's huh? going to start first? Uh, maybe we should scissors, paper, stone? Yeah, okay. Okay, let's go, guys. Okay, ready? Give me some, okay. Uh, scissors, paper, stone. Uh, yes. Okay, okay, so it's boys' turn. All right, boys will start the okay. game first. Can. Okay, for this game, the, bo uh, the pupils will need to read the sentence and they have to choose the correct coordinating conjunction. Mm, okay. okay, so who's going to do the first one? Boys team. Okay, Akif or Amir, who Akif. would like to help? Akif will okay. do the first one, okay? Okay, Akif. Alright, so... Okay. We are counting on you, Akif. Alright, Akif. Okay, what's the first question, teacher? I couldn't sleep last night. I'm very sleepy now. Ooh, okay. So, Akif, what, what is it? Is it because, is it so or is it but? What is the answer, Akif? I couldn't sleep last night, so I'm very sleepy now. So, is I that correct? Now. Is it correct? Yes! yes. Okay, so... Nice. Good job, good All job. Alright, Akif, which number do you want me to mark here? Number one, please. Number one, alright. Oh. Number one. Okay. We are leading, we are leading. Okay. Alright, so now it's girls' turn. Okay. Okay, girls, are you ready? Who's going to do it? Iris. Iris, is it? Okay, okay Iris. I went to the dentist last week. I had a toothache. Mm. So what is the answer? I went to the dentist last week because I had a toothache. Because I had a toothache. Okay, let's, let's check. See. Yes, wow. correct. Good job, Iris. Okay, Iris, can you choose the number? Which number do you want me to mark here? Number three, please. Number three, all right, number three. Okay, girls, I gave them a flower. Flower. Okay. Okay, now? Let's go, boys. Boys' turn. So okay. it's Amir's turn. Amir's turn. Okay, can you read the question, teacher? Harry had finished his homework. He forgot to bring it to school. Mm. Okay, okay Amir, Amir, what's the answer? Harry had finished his homework, but he forgot to bring it to school. Oh, okay, let's is check that the answer. Very yes. good, good job. Okay, so Amir, which number do you want me to put the sticker? Um, I choose number seven. Number seven. seven. Okay. Okay, okay, we need one more. Alright, one more. more. Alright, now okay. it's girl's turn. Alright. Okay, it's girl's turn. It would be Putri. Okay. Okay, Putri, it was Tanya's birthday. Her mother baked a chocolate cake for her birthday party. Mm. What's the answer? It was Tanya's birthday. So her mother baked a chocolate cake for her birthday party. Okay, let's check the answer. Very good, good job! Okay, so which uh, number do you want me to put the sticker on? 
Number six, please. Number six. Oh my <gasps> god. We're so close. Ah, all right. So boys team. Okay, let's now do it, boys. It's Akif. We got this. Okay, Akif. We are counting on you, Akif. Okay, Mark's motorbike was stolen. He forgot to lock the gate. So what's mm. the answer? Mark's motorbike was stolen because he forgot the lock. Mm. To lock the gate. Okay, let's yeah, check nice. the answer. Yes, very good. Okay. Akif, choose wisely. Which number should I put the sticker on? Number four, please. Number four. Looks like we have the yes. winner. Yes. Yes. Good Give, job. Good job. Boys team win. But uh -huh. it's okay, it's okay. I think the girls did amazing as yeah. well. Yeah, so let's reward them with oh. a star each. Okay, congratulations. Okay, one, two. Everyone gets a star, teacher. Yes. Even though the boys won, it's okay. Yeah. Everyone still did an amazing because job. all of them got the correct answers. Okay. Okay, good job. Now, let's continue our lesson. Okay. Let's match. Let's uh, match. This is the writing activity that our pupils will have to do. I will need to ask our pupils to take out the second worksheet that I have provided to you. Okay. Second worksheet, okay? The second now, worksheet. For this activity, I will need to ask Chris to read the story again. The same story, did the you? The same story. Okay. And then you have to listen carefully and match the uh, sentences. Okay. Ah, the sentences on the whiteboard and the worksheet. A, we have B, and then the conjunctions in the middle. All right. So everyone pay attention. It was Saturday morning. Mark woke up feeling excited because it was his birthday. He ran downstairs and saw his parents and grandpa. His grandpa gave him a card and he opened it. It told him that his present was in the garden. So he ran to the garden. In the garden, Mark saw a new bike that was tied with two balloons. He rode it happily. Suddenly, it went dark. The bike was flying really fast. Whoosh! Clung! Mark opened his eyes and he was in the town centre. But everything looked different. All around him were tall glass skyscrapers with flying cars whizzing past. There were no trees and green grass. The sky was grey and the air was polluted. Mark couldn't breathe properly. So, he quickly jumped onto his bike. Whoosh! Clung! Mark opened his eyes and saw his grandpa smiling. Mark quickly hugged his grandpa because he was relieved to be back home. All right. Okay, thank you, Chris. Thank you very much. Welcome, teacher. Okay, so uh, first one, I think I will ask Chris help to match the first one. Okay. Mark woke up feeling excited because... Because... Because it was his birthday. Okay, thank you, Chris. Now, who would like to give it a try for number two? His present was in the garden. Okay, Putri. His, pre his present was in the garden, so he quickly ran to the garden. So, and he quickly, he quickly. ran to the garden. Alright, okay. How about number three? He was in the town centre. Who would like to un help answer this question? Um, how about... Let's go with Amir. Okay, Amir. For number three. Number three, Amir. Hmm. He was in the town centre. But everything looked different. But everything looked different. Oh, this one. Okay, okay. thank you, Amir. Alright, and uh, how about... He couldn't breathe. Let's call Iris. Okay, Iris. He couldn't breathe. So, he quickly jumped onto his bike. So, he quickly jumped, jumped onto, onto his, his bike. bike. Alright. And the last one, we have Akif. He hugged his grandpa because he was relieved to be back home. He was relieved to be back home. Okay, now, let's check the answers together. Alright. Mm. Let's see. Okay, for number one, Mark woke up feeling okay. excited. Because, because he was relieved to be back home, correct? Correct, teacher. Very yes. good. Okay, number two, his present was in the garden, so he quickly ran, uh, he quickly ran to the garden. It is correct. So correct, good job. He was in the town centre, but everything looked different. Yes, it's correct, but... Correct. He couldn't breathe, so he quickly jumped onto his bike. Correct, teacher. Correct, good job. And the last one, he hugged his grandfather because he was relieved to be back home. 
Correct, teacher. Good job. Yes. Okay, so everybody gets yeah. one, one star. star. Okay. Congratulations, everybody. But teacher, before we proceed, is it okay if we take a short break? Yes. Okay, for our friends watching at home, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back here with teacher Zakia for Basa English Slot Tahap 2. KPM. Hi everybody, welcome back to Slot Tahap 2 with me Chris, MJ and Teacher Zakia for Bahasa Inggris Tahun 6 and today we are focusing on the topic of how do we get there and in this segment we will be learning about where is she going. Alright teacher, are you ready for the next part of the lesson? Yes, okay, okay thank you Chris. You. So for our segment, where is she going, I'm going to introduce to you uh, some vocabulary. Okay. Okay, the first one is discount. Discount is... Uh, when the price is reduced. Ah, okay. uh, for example, if it's 50% discount, if the price is 100 ringgit, now it is 50, 50 ringgit. ringgit. Okay. okay, the next word is a ferry. A ferry is a water transport mm. to carry passengers and actually vehicles. Next one, we have two tickets. One is single ticket and the second one is return ticket. Single ticket means uh, from one de uh, destination A to destination B and return ticket means from destination A to destination B and from destination B, you return to destination A. Ah, okay. Okay, the next one is ticket office. Ticket office is a place for you to buy tickets. Right. Okay, so for this activity, I will need you to listen to a conversation. Okay. And then you have to answer some questions. And then after that, you have to complete the information. All right. Okay, are you guys ready? Ready, teacher. Before that, let's look at the picture and the question provided here. Okay. Okay, if you look at the picture, if you look at the picture here, you can see a girl mm -hmm. somewhere. And then in front of the girl, you can see like a... Like a ticket counter? Yeah, yeah. like a ticket... Uh, yeah. And then the question number one, where is the girl? Where is she going? How is she going there? And what questions do you think she's asking? Okay, are you ready to listen to the conversation? Ready, teacher. Okay, let's start. Track 1.25 Unit 5 Lesson 7 Activity 2 Good morning. How can I help you? Could you tell me how to get to the zoo, please? Of course. The quickest way is by ferry. How long does it take? It takes 12 minutes each way. Great. How often does the ferry depart? It departs every 30 minutes. And how much does it cost? A single costs $6 and a return costs 10 Could I have two return tickets, please? Of course. Here you are. That's twenty dollars, please. Okay. All okay. right. So I hope our pupils are ready to answer these four questions. All right. Now, who would like to give it a try for question number two, number one? Where is the girl? Mm. Okay, Iris. Okay, Iris. Where is the girl? The girl is at the ticket office. Yes, the girl is at the ticket office. Good job. Good job, Iris. Okay, how about question number two? Where is she going? Akif, can you give it a try? She want to go in the zoo. She is going to the zoo. Very good. Good job. Okay, the third question. How is she going there? Putri, can you give it a try? She going there by ferry. By mm. ferry. Yes, good job. And the last one. Amir, can you give uh, your answer for question number four? What questions do you think she's asking? She asked about the time and the price. The time and the ticket price. Good job, everybody. Okay, now let's move on to the next one. You okay. have to complete the information. Okay, so I'm going to replay the conversation. All right. And this time, please take out your worksheet three. Okay. Okay, the third worksheet and to complete the information provided. All right, let's take a listen. Track 1.25. Unit 5, Lesson 7, Activity 2. 
Good morning. How can I help you? Could you tell me how to get to the zoo, please? Of course. The quickest way is by ferry. How long does it take? It takes 12 minutes each way. Great. How often does the ferry depart? It departs every 30 minutes. And how much does it cost? A single costs six dollars and a return costs ten. Could I have two return tickets, please? Of course. Here you are. That's twenty dollars, please. Okay. okay. All right. So, who would like to give the answer for the journey time? How long does it take? Uh, Putri. Okay, Putri. Twelve minutes. Twelve minutes. Thank you. Depart. How often does it depart? Uh, Amir. Okay, Amir. It departs every 30 minutes. Every 30 minutes. Okay, and how much is the price for a single ticket? Akif? Akif, how much? Oh, Akif, you haven't uh, turned on your mic yet. Uh, $6. $6, okay. And the last one, return ticket, how much is it? Iris? $10. Ten dollars. All right, thank you. Now let's okay. check the answers. Sure. It's twelve minutes, correct? Correct, sir. Okay, the journey time is twelve minutes. Yeah. How how often does it depart? Every thirty minutes. Very good. Good job. How much is the single ticket? Six dollars. Six dollars, correct. And how much is the return ticket? Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Everybody right. gets. Get a star. Congratulations, everybody. Good job. So, how is their overall performance teacher for today's well, lesson? They are marvelous. Excellent. Yeah. Good job, everybody. All right. So, everybody gets a star. And also, for those of uh, for the pupils watching at home, how can they get extra resources on today's lesson, teacher? Okay, Chris, you can get all these extra exercises from Portal Delima KPM. There you go. And with that, I would like to say thank you very much, teacher, for today's very, very fun lesson. And we will we have come to the end of today's lesson. But before that, I want to ask, did everyone have a good time learning today? If you did, give me a thumbs up. Yes! Okay, thank you, everyone. We will see you again here on Slot Tahap Dua, Didet TV, KPM. Bye, everybody!